Now let's look at the message bus pattern. Um, the context you have several cooperating applications um, possibly running on several different servers and they need to, to exchange information. Um, the, there is the potential to add more applications. Now, initially it is very, very uh, easy and it was done where um, if you had cooperating applications simply talk to each other. Okay, then you had a third one and it needs to talk to the other two. Now, um, now you've got some entanglement of um, communication across them. And uh, I think the worst I heard of was uh, about eight different systems were entangled in um, not a regular fashion. So they, they were just um, connections between them in, in all sorts of different places. Um, it was a problem. So the problem is that as an integration solution grows, how can you reduce the cost of adding more applications and how can you, how can you maintain the independence of the applications so that you don't have this, this complete mutual independence, mutual lockup of the whole thing. The forces. Communication between applications usually creates dependencies between the applications. True. In a configuration we have point-to-point -point connectivity. The coupling has a quadratic growth with a number of applications. You've got two applications, you've got two connections, three applications, you've got three by two. Um, and you get four applications, you've got, you know, a quadratic. Um, or a, um, a permutation. The forces. Um, usually the application of integration solution have different interfaces, that's also true. And some integration solutions consist of a fixed set of applications. Right? The solution is you invent this message bus, and it, it, it merely is a way of putting information or transmitting information in a common format. So you can put information on the bus and you take information off the bus. So collect all the applications to a logical component known as the message bus. The message bus specializes in transporting messages between applications. A message bus contains three key elements. A set of agreed upon message schemas, this is fairly essential. A set of a common command messages and a shared infrastructure for sending bus messages to the recipients. So you could, depending on the bus, you could um, put the address of where it's supposed to go and, and then the message. Or you could simply put the message and leave it up to uh, one of the applications on the bus to recognize, oh, this is my responsibility and deal with it. Either way, it'll work. Um, uh, I think personally I would prefer to, personally I, I'd tend to favor the latter one where it's the responsibility of somebody to recognize the, the, uh, the message and, and deal with it. A message bus and diagram is very simple. You just have this thing, a big bus, and everybody connected to it. 